when we found all the puppies, they were under a building. And when we found them, they were just saying it was cold, it was in the, in the winter. When you see that Monday that you're like, are they gonna survive? They're all like huddled up on each other. She probably wouldn't have made it. They don't really care for them. You know, they're more, they're considered more of a nuisance over there than, than pets. We, we took responsibility for them and um, we, we do anything for them. I, I was worried because I was like, can I get this dog home? Am I gonna be able to? And then pause of war, it came through. The process is extremely difficult and extremely expensive and we never, ever, ever ask our soldiers for a single penny. Once we found out that pause of war was gonna, you know, help us out, it was, they really, they, like, eternally grateful. Like, there's no way I can express how thankful we are. These dogs now are here safe, they won't suffer, and those soldiers will never have to regret ever having to leave them behind. It means means the world to, to be reunited, reunited with uh with with our with our family. That's pretty much how it feels. It's like these these dogs were our family for you know close to nine months while we were overseas. Pause of war like basically did they did everything for me. I didn't have to do anything, and uh, they made sure that she came back safely. Somebody who's serving our country. Uh, and you could put a smile on their face, you know you did something right. You know, for them to volunteer to do this for us, it's, it means the world, it really does. Honestly, it's the best feeling in the world. It's almost better than coming home. <laughs>